Hey fellow garage golfers, Roland here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. I'm really excited to bring today's video to you guys. Today we're going to be testing out the brand new Sky Caddy LX5 GPS smartwatch. I'm really, really happy to try this one out. If you've watched some of our other videos before, I've tested out the Sky Caddy SX500, and this pretty much has all those features right on your wrist when you take this out to the golf course. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing for you. I'm gonna show you a few key features before we take it out to the golf course. Then we're gonna actually take it out for a round of golf and show you what we love about the Sky Caddy LX5 GPS smartwatch. Looking forward to bringing that to you. Stay tuned and check it out. Okay, thanks again for watching and welcome back. Here at Garage Golf, we provide information on golf products, golf equipment, golf simulators, and pretty much info on anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Also, before we get started with the video and the unboxing, if you're interested in anything like you see behind me, setting up your own golf simulator at home, I wanna be your go-to person. Make sure to reach out to me at Roland at mygaragegolf.com or check out our landing page at www.rainorshinegolf.com backslash garage golf. Let's jump straight into the unboxing of the Sky Caddy LX5. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of the LX5. I'm not gonna jump into too much detail. I'm excited to get it out on the golf course, but I'd like to show you what comes with the LX5 when you unbox it. So here you see the watch, and I have kind of played with it a little bit, so screen it does come with a protective cover, very similar to what you see here. And here's the watch itself. So the watch is really nice quality. The band is actually quite large as well, which is a really nice feature. I like that. Um, it will fit big wrists, which is nice. Here's an example of the watch, the band. It is a 22 millimeter band, uh, so it will fit. It does have quick release pins that you can go ahead and release it, switch it out with bands of different colors. Um, the one you see here is the all plastic bezel. There is also a ceramic bezel that's about $50 more, uh, but I, I'm happy, perfectly happy with the all plastic bezel. I think it's a really nice watch really good quality, um, and it's definitely something that I'm looking forward to testing out and showing you guys on camera here. So um, in the box as well will come a charging cord that you can see here, and this basically plugs directly into the watch underneath. There's some pins here, and it'll just plug directly into there magnetically. Um, so that's all you would really need for the watch. And this come instruction booklet as well. If you watch our channel, you know we don't jump into too many instructions here, but I'm gonna walk you through a few key features. Um, there would be a card as well that will give you your SkyGolf membership, and you have the options as far as uh, membership options and what you do, uh, but I believe that with this particular watch comes a three-year membership to SkyGolf, and you can go online and sync your watch. I'm gonna walk you through a few things that you can do uh, with the watch and ways you wanna set up your watch prior to taking it out on the golf course. So pretty much it, there's also another little band here. So if you have smaller wrist, uh, there's another band in here that will accommodate you as well. And basically there's also a quick start guide as you see here on the, on the bottom. But I'm gonna walk you through a few minor features I wanna show you guys at home. And then we're gonna get this thing on the golf course and show you what we love about it. So let's go ahead and show you a few of those minor things that we wanna adjust on the LX5 first, and then we'll go ahead and take it out to the golf course. All right, and to power on the watch, you hold this upper right button here. And you'll see the watch power on here shortly. This is gonna be, see what you'll see. Well, the first time that you basically set up this watch, there are two buttons here on the side. This would be your power button, and this bottom button here is going to be your menu button of sorts that will walk you through the entire menu functions. Those are the only two buttons that are actually on the watch itself. And you see there is a heart rate sensor as well, which will track your heart rate throughout around the golf. It will actually track your steps and other features as well. So you're gonna see it starting up, Sky Caddy. And once it comes up to the main screen, I'll show you a little bit more here. All right, so here's the main screen. And you're gonna see different features as far as what you wanna do. Uh, here's the normal watch face feature as well. You can click on that and see different things. You'll see your steps up here on the top, how much battery life is left, and pretty much that's it for that. You see a little arrow, you can click on that. That's gonna show you how many steps you've taken throughout the day, how many miles and what your goal is. You could also click on heart rate. It will measure your heart rate as well. Since I'm not wearing it, obviously right now it won't measure it. 
All right, so now we're back on the main screen. So this menu button here is going to be pretty much your way to use this watch throughout the whole, any feature that you wanna see. So if you hold down menu, you're gonna see time, golf, sync, alarms, stopwatch, timer, and settings, info, and turn off. So first thing you wanna do is go to settings and you can adjust your time and settings and basically set the time that you wanna have set up here what zone you're in, and then basically you would click next. So this is how you're gonna set up your time. I've already done that in this case. Now if we were to go to Bluetooth, you can click on Bluetooth, and you can pair this as well with your phone or different items. We also have Wi-Fi, so you'd wanna set up your Wi-Fi. Go through the setup process and set up your Wi-Fi because that's how you're going to actually sync the watch. Now, you can sync the watch by plugging it into your computer, but I've been told that it's better to actually set it up via Wi-Fi and everything works a lot smoother and I've had no issues with syncing this watch whatsoever. So that's really nice. And if you go into system, we have backlight. Now one of the things I like to change is the backlight. I clicked on backlight and you have auto, high, medium, low. Um, you're pretty much good at medium to be honest. I, I just set mine at auto and I really haven't had any issues with that. Um, so auto or medium would work fine. You have the vibrate feature on, alarms only or off. I have the vibrate feature on on my watch. Different, at different times throughout the round of golf, it will vibrate a bit to give you alerts or warnings. Obviously language, you can set the language of your choice, diagnostics, reset, auto dim. Now another one I did was auto dim. I think it's preset at somewhere around 15 seconds. But if you're looking at your watch and you're playing around the golf, you can basically adjust that to where you want it. So I set it at the maximum, which was 30 seconds, and I just hit okay. So that's one of the main things that I changed on mine. And then once you've uh, basically set up your system features and you set up your Wi-Fi, you have options to go into fitness, golf. Now, if you were to click on golf, you can set different things like units, this is meters or yards, targets at, green at, T gender, auto hole, default view. So if you were to click on something like auto hole, it will take you to the next hole automatically based upon your location. T gender, men's or ladies. So this watch can be used for ladies as well. Uh, green at, so this would be if you're 200 yards away and you want to have a green view where it, it zooms into the green, this is one of the features that you can use as well. And you can set that at any yardage that you want pretty much. Uh, so I have it auto set right now at 200, but you can, if you wanted to go in there and change it to something like 180, you can do that. Just hit okay and it'll save it for you. Targets at, and again, targets at 150 yards or any distance that you want for the targets at feature as well. So really cool stuff. And this is some of the things you want to kind of set up before you play your first round of golf, just so you don't have to worry about that on the actual course. But overall, it's pretty easy to set up. Fitness features, you can do a step goal. You can also change the units to miles or kilometers. So it will track, pretty, it's not going to be all in one fitness watch per se, but it will track your steps and it will track um, your heart rate when you're playing golf and different things as well. And then if we go into system, Again, we've already set pretty much everything there. Diagnostics, reset. So I think that's pretty much it as far as the general setup and anything that we would want to see. You can set alarms. Now, if you want to sync your watch um, online with your SkyCaddy account, once you set up your watch on SkyCaddy, and again, in the packet, you're going to get a card that will walk you through how to set up your watch on SkyCaddy's website. And once you've done that and you registered your watch, you can go in there and you can actually hit sync. And this is again after we've set up our Wi-Fi. So you have the option to sync via USB, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Um, again, I feel the best way to do this will be the Wi-Fi feature. So you'll click on Wi-Fi. It'll connect you to the Wi-Fi. And this process has been pretty smooth and easy for me altogether. You'll see it verify. Now in this case it said could not sync. I'm not on my Wi-Fi uh, at home, but this is how you would basically do it. You would just hit Wi-Fi and then you would sync. It'll verify the info. Now it's sync it sync it. Now it's synced the info. So I went ahead and set it up and it's sync is complete. So you'll see that right there. And that's pretty much all you need to do. So now it's synced. It's synced the actual courses. Now, once you actually play golf and you save your rounds and everything on here, that'll sync directly to the website. You'll be able to track everything, how many shots you took uh, per hole, what your average scores were. If you hit targets, if you hit fairways, how many putts you've taken, all that will automatically get saved for you as you go through this process. So just a quick unboxing and setup. I wanted to show that to you. I'm going to show you more on the golf course as well, obviously, when we go into the golf features. But wanted to show you this really quickly. Now I'm going to take it out to the golf course. We're going to be playing at Valor Creek here in the San Antonio area. 
It's a beautiful course. I think they might have just aerated the green, so that's the only negative. Uh, but I'm looking forward to showing you the course a bit and showing you a little bit more about this watch and what to expect if you were to use it. Feel free to ask me any questions and uh, let's go ahead and get out to the golf course now and show you a little bit more. All right, so first and foremost, I want to apologize. The beginning of this video was actually cut off with the audio. My microphone wasn't working properly. So I'm going to do a little bit of a voiceover for the first part of this video. But here you see, we just showed up to the golf course. I clicked on golf. Now we're clicking on new round and it's getting them to the location for the actual golf course that we're going to be playing at, which is Valor Creek. And you'll see that pop up here in just a moment. It took about maybe 30 seconds for it to pop up altogether. Here you see Valor Creek. I'm going to go ahead and select that now as my course and I'm going to click on play down here at the bottom here in just a moment. And then that's going to basically locate the course. It's going to load it for us, get us ready for that first tee box. And here I'm going to go ahead and drive us to the first tee box and show you more info here in just a moment. All right, so we're on the first tee box. We're waiting to hit our shot here. And here you're going to see I'm going to click the right arrow. It's going to show us total distance to the tee is 292. Click right again. You'll see the scorecard. I'm going to click up. This is how you would mark your golf ball if you wanted to mark a shot. I'll click down. This is going to show you different hazards at different point throughout the course, distance to the fairway, end of fairway, and any kind of fairway target that we have here on the watch as you see here on the screen. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the GPS on the very top or the actual course itself how it's laid out and you'll get an idea again on the map how it's laid out on the watch and it's pretty much identical so that's really really cool and again 294 yards total that's going to be what we're aiming for so we're going to go ahead and take our first shot here in just a moment here you see my first shot off the tee nice little hook to the left uh, so we're going to have to get a nice shot from that left side of the fairway Now we've arrived to the left side of the fairway my, where my ball landed. I'm going to actually show you how you can drag the mark stick on the actual green to locate where you want to place the pin. And you'll see, I have it roughly towards the back of the green, which is where the GPS location has it as well. I'll show you on the GPS. It's really towards the very back of the green. You're going to see side by side with my watch. And again, I could always drag it to put it exactly where the flag stick is, but pretty much right on point with what we're looking at on the GPS watch. So here you see my second shot. And I actually kind of flew it towards the back of the green. Now another technical issue, my my camera did cut out. I two-putted that one, so I'm going to go ahead and input the score. You'll see hole number one. I'm inputting the score now. I'm going to put a basically a bogey. So I two-putted again on, once I landed on the green. I'll hit next. Two putts there. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next screen. And now we're going to see I actually was left of the fairway. And I'm going to click done. And that's how you do it per hole as you go throughout this process. Pretty cool stuff. So now I want to show you another really cool feature. I'm going to take you to the third hole now here in just a moment. I want to show you something really cool, and that's the mark ball feature. So you're going to see me hit my driver shot here, and I actually take my driver shot. Actually a decent strike for me on this one, a little bit right of the fairway. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to mark and see how far I hit that driver shot. So on my watch here, you're going to see I'm going to hit the down arrow. I'm going to hit mark. We're going to go ahead and mark that location. Now we're going to go ahead and start driving. We'll drive to the golf ball and see how far I hit that shot. And here you see we actually show up to the bunker where my ball landed. 258 yards total was my total shot. Good distance for me off my driver. I'm going to go ahead and hit mark. And we're moving on to the next hole. Okay, we have a par 5, 543 yards. I'm going to use the driver. And we'll see what kind of score we can get on this hole. I have 180 yards to the green behind me. There's a bunker right in front that's going to be right about 165 yards according to my watch. So let's go ahead and take a five iron shot and see if we can get it on the green from here. It was in the rough, definitely didn't get it there. It's going to be short and a little left of the green.
All right, so we're actually, this is a par four again. If I would just actually look at my watch, it would help. Uh, so I'm actually 34 yards away from the front of the green. I'm gonna use a 60 iron and try to get it up on there and hopefully make par on this hole. Definitely chunked it or bladed it a bit, but we got a putt for par. I definitely hit that one too hard. So I'm gonna try to make this putt now. Really long distance, but at a very bare minimum, hopefully I'll two putt it and get in there for bogey. Very bumpy. All right, let me show you one other really cool feature. Let's say you're on the tee box and we just want to zoom in on the green. You can click this little icon up here on the upper right. I'm going to click that. And here we are in the green. Now, let's say we want to figure out how far it is to different locations on that green. You can click this target button on the bottom right here. And now we're going to see distances from everywhere you're at. So if you were to drag it for an approach shot, let's say the flag's in the back left, you're going to see distances as far as how it changes based upon where you, where you pick that location on the green and wherever that flag stick is located. So it's gonna give you a really good tool as far as how to aim your shot, what club you wanna use, how far you're gonna have for rollout and everything that you're looking at. So also one of my favorite features on the Sky Caddy LX. So let me know if you have any questions on this one. Seventh hole, and we have a total distance of 291 yards for this hole. And here you see, so far as I've been playing the round, you see how many steps I've taken, 1280. Nice hot day here in Texas, so I'm sweating pretty good now. So if I go back to it again, you're going to see the actual location, uh, the layout of the actual hole and how that all works. And where I have it aimed here on the map is 218. So probably not a driver hole per se. Uh, you probably want to use an iron or something to get down there. Uh, altogether about close to 300 to the green, but let's say I want to aim right about there. It's 241. My driver has been really horrible today. Um, so maybe I'll use a long iron, like a five iron or something to get it out there and hopefully have a good approach shot to the green on my second shot. All right, so I'm gonna be using a five iron for this shot and we'll see if we can get it down there. Hopefully have a nice approach shot for that second shot. All right, so there's my ball and there's the green up there. I went ahead and marked that shot and see it in the shade here. I hit that 175 with that five iron. So not the best shot. But now I have, I'm going to go ahead and mark it, hit exit. And now you're going to see that I have 144 yards to the center of the green. And again, if you see that cool feature that I showed you, hit the target button. Now you're going to see distances from where that's at. And it's pretty much right on par with where it's at on the actual green. So really cool. I'm looking forward to hitting this shot and hopefully getting it close. And we got 146. I'm going to use a seven iron, a little bit uphill. Two hundred thirty yards to the middle of the fairway up there. That's going to be my focal point. So let's go ahead and take that shot and see how we do on this. This is going to be a par four. All right. So you see, here's actual well, actual marker on the golf course. One hundred sixty-three yards. Let's see how close the watch is getting the distance as well. So if you're looking at the watch. And if you can see that on the screen, it's actually 158 to the center. So not too far off, um, that, that's good. And again, we can adjust where we have the flag stick on our actual shot as well. So I'm 158 according to my watch uh, to the center. I'm gonna use a six iron, see if we can get it on the green and hopefully we'll make a par here. A good shot right at it. Looks like I'm right on the green, so we actually have a putt for birdie for once. Okay, so I can actually put a check mark for a green in regulation for once. 
And since we got air rated greens here, if you play by garage golf rules, on an air rated green, the maximum punch you can get is two. Anybody play that at home? Also, do you guys play inside the leather at home as well? We play by garage golf rules when we're on the actual course. Let me know if you do that. Let's see if we can make this putt for birdie. Ooh, that might be inside the leather like we just talked about. Inside the leather? Nope. Not inside the leather. Darn it. All right, let's make this putt. We'll take it for par. After the day I've had today, we'll definitely take it. All right, so this is the last hole for today that we're going to record. I wanted to show you this is a par 3. So when I pulled up to the par 3, it automatically populated on the actual green itself. So... I'm going to locate the flag stick, which is going to be back here in the right part of the green, back right part of the green. So it looks like we're about 169 to the pin. GPS on the cart shows 165. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. You can see where it's located on the actual cart. So I know I'm going to be aiming for roughly about 165 yards, roughly uh, 169 on my watch. And we'll see what we can do here. But again, I like that feature and I can click on that target view again to see how much room we would have as far as location to the back bunker, uh, to the left and right part of the green and to the front part of the green, as well as if I were to click on the right and I go down here, um, there's not an actual hazard one on this one as you'll see on the par three. So I wanted to show that to you as well because it is a par three. Um, everything's gonna be located on your main screen here, which is location to anything like the water or anything like that that you'll need. Uh, so pretty cool feature overall. and. Wanted to show that to you just to kind of give you an idea of how it works on the par threes as well. So let's take the shot, see if we can end up with a par here for today. All right, so we got about 165 yards. I'm going to be using a six iron. Going some time out here in the shade, see if he's friendly or not. Oh, we got two. Oh. Hey, guys. How y'all doing? Hello. Hello. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, they're jealous. Hey. We just want to come say hi. Thank you for saying hello to us. Okay, so this is where we ended up here. See the hole there, pin high, just a little bit right of the green. So let's go ahead and hit a gap wedge up onto the green. Could have stopped a little sooner, but let's try to make this putt. All right, so we got about 10 to 12 feet away for this putt. We got these aerated greens. Let's see if we can make a putt here. Nope, missed it twice. All right, so we just finished up our rounds. I want to show you here, I finished out the scorecard. As you see, all of my data is inputted here. When I hit fairways, when I missed them, you'll be able to see everything there. There you see my total score for today, 85, which for a tougher course, isn't too, too bad. I kind of struggled today with some of my shots, but that's pretty much a everyday average golfer score right there. So I'm right on par with what I advertise to be. Uh, 85 plus 13, you see all my scores here. And then at the end, it shows me my in and out, so 41 in the, on the back, and 39 total putts, which is also really bad. But again, the greens were aerated today. Nine greens in regulation, six fairways hit. So there you see all the data there. Now when I'm done with all this, I can actually end the round. Let me show you how to do that really quick. Uh, so if I were to finish up with everything, and I hold down the menu button, I believe, I can go down here to exit round. I would click exit round and then I'm pretty much done with the round and then once I go back and I sync it then everything will be synced and saved on the Sky Caddy website on the Sky Golf's website which I will show you here in just a minute as far as what you would see on the computer and all the shots and all the data that gets tracked when you actually use this watch the appropriate way and fill in all the information such as fairways hit, greens and regulation and everything. So a pretty cool way to track all your stats without you really having to think about it too much. Pretty easy process overall. So let me take you to the computer and I'll show you that here in just a moment. 
Okay, so real quick, one other thing I want to show you. When you actually do go to save your round, you're going to have some different options. You can actually choose between standard, practice, scramble, tournament, winter. I don't know what winter is. I guess if you're not putting or anything. So in this case, we're just going to go ahead and pick on standard and hit save. But it is cool that you have more than one option to choose from when you're actually going to save your round. So I just wanted to show that to you. So let's go ahead and jump on that computer now and I'll show you more detail. All right, and here we are on the SkyGolf website and here you see our login. We're gonna go ahead and log into their account. I'm gonna show you exactly how this is gonna reflect once you're done playing a round of golf here on the LX5 watch and show you what exactly you'll see online once you sync that watch to your computer. And once you have logged into your account, basically all we're gonna do is click up here on my 360 profile and it's gonna bring you to this screen. And what I did was I found my round here when I was playing here at Valor Creek Golf Club in Blanco, Texas. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and show it to you. And once you click on the round that you're looking at, you're going to see all the data and all the numbers come up on the screen for you here. And here you see Valor Creek Golf Club, Blanco, Texas. Here's my score of 85. 43% fairways hit, 50% greens and regulations, 2.2 putts per hole. And you'll be able to see each individual hole as well that we played back here. You can click on it. It's going to show you information on each hole, which is really, really cool. I like all the data and all the info there. What I scored on that hole, uh, what our average scores was, pretty much everything that you're going to want to know as far as each hole, what your scores were, what the handicap was for that hole. And as we come down here, we're going to be able to see our scorecard and where we actually teed off from, which in my case were the gold tees. What I got, look at all these squares, so many squares here. Jeez. So here's a fun fact. Not all squares are rectangles, but all rectangles are squares. Did you guys know that? Just a little helpful, fun fact of the day for you guys, if you're watching. Anyways, moving on. Thought you'd like to know a little piece of cool info there. Uh, again, lots and lots of squares on my scorecard. Not a single circle to be found, but that's roughly pretty much what I've been experiencing recently with my scores. But really cool, you get to see if we hit fairways right, left, whole lot of arrows there couple check marks here and there throughout greens and regulation how many putts per hole um, if scramble scramble you can click on that it says score or par or better without reaching the green and regulation so it gives you a lot of info on that tracking time in minutes spent per hole so it also shows you how long you spent per hole as well so really really cool stuff i like it pretty much everything that you want and more on on disposal here or on on hand for you to review Fairway percentage, greens and regulation percentage, statistics per round, 360 handicap before, 360 handicap after. Um, I Some of these are older when I was scoring much higher, so I think I might need to go through it with my Skycaddy SX500 stats and kind of clear some of that. I'm going to start using this watch on a regular basis and keeping track of all my stats. So just a little bit more info. But I wanted to show you guys on the computer uh, pretty much everything that you can see on your computer. Just take real quick and show that to you. Let's take it back to the golf course and let me give you my final thoughts on the Skycaddy LX5 GPS golf watch. All right, fellow garage golfers. So I've been testing out the Skycaddy LX5 throughout the whole round today and I wanted to give you my overall impressions of it. Overall, it's a really, really good piece of tech, uh, really high quality material. I think it's gonna last a long time. I love the convenience of being able to take it in and around the green. If you've watched my video before on the Skycaddy SX500, I like it, but you gotta carry it in your pocket, take it around the green. This, you have all the portability and convenience of this. It's touch screen, really good quality. Now, is it gonna make you a better golfer? If you watch my, my video footage today, you'll see that you still gotta put in the work. I have not been doing that. So I really appreciate the opportunity to test out the watch. I think it's great. I'm definitely gonna be using it moving forward. Uh, if you guys have any questions on it, reach out to me anytime at Roland at MyGarageGolf.com. Check out our website at MyGarageGolf.com as well. I'm here to answer any questions you have on any products, anything. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with us, taking the time to watch our videos. If you haven't done so, please make sure to subscribe to our page and also join our Facebook group as well. Look forward to answering any questions that you have. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with us. And until the next time, as always, keep on golfing. Thanks again.